Hello, good people, and welcome to Panda's Key Error. This is an annoying error, and you'll see it often within your code. Even me, I do pandas almost every single day. I see them in my code all the time, and I think, shoot, you're an idiot. You need to fix this. Now, key error generally means that pandas cannot find the thing that you're looking for. So let's see how this error happens, and let's see how to fix it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is, as always, import pandas as pd. Fabulous. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a data frame. Now, this data frame is just going to be a list of tuples. I'm going to name the columns and the types. It's basically just four rows and two columns. You could see it right there. Now, let's check out um, a column that is in our data frame. So if I'm going to call this one to call the column, I'm going to say my data frame. Uh, open square brackets, my column name, cl close square brackets. I run that cell. It works just as you would expect. It's finding this name right here. Beautiful. It all works out well. But now let's say, for example, you're trying to call a column that is not in your data frame. So you'll see here that we have name and we have type. We do not have the column food. Click that. And what you get is you get a key error food. You get a bunch of garbage that's really gross looking. But the summary of it is you basically get a key error that says food. And it's like, oh no, you have a key error. Well, what does this mean? Well, it means, you dumb dumb, that your column name that you're trying to call is not in your data frame. And that's an issue and that's not gonna fly, all right? And so the way that you can get around this, the way that I like to do it, is you make sure that every column that you're calling is in your data frame. Uh, so that means that you would wanna add a food column if you wanna call a food column after that. It could be a mistake, it, it could be an oversight, I don't care how it happens, just you wanna make sure you fix it. Now let's say that you did not want to put the food column in there, but you still wanted to call it, or if you wanted to check if it was in there. The way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna use df.get. Now .get, what that's gonna do is it's gonna go see if the column is in your data frame, and if it is, then it will return that column. If it's not, then it's gonna return a default value. So let's see, what uh, what that looks like here. We'll do df got uh, df dot get food. I ran that. Nothing happened because it's not in there. If I did name, which is in there, it gives me this column. Let me go back to food here. Nothing happens. But what you can do is you can also set a default value. So say you set a default value of zero. Well, since it's not in there, it's going to return whatever the default value is, and that's zero. You could do this, and you could say data. It's going to return you data. Okay. So this is kind of another way to do it in case you wanted to call a column that wasn't necessarily uh, in there. Now, uh, this error can... Uh, so then what also happens is if you're trying to call an index that is not there, an index within your rows. So here, for example, I'm calling df.lock, and I'm just calling a two. And if we go up to our data frame here, I'm calling this one right here, this uh, index label of two, and it's giving me 500 club and bar. We go back down here, we get 500 club and bar, fabulous. Let's say we call an index label for our rows that is not there, like nine. Well, I get the same thing. I get a key error that says basically it's not there. So with a rows, it's a little bit different. You can't use dot get uh, out of the box. And so one easy way to do it, and this is kind of verbose, but I'm showing you just so you can see the logic of what we're doing here, is I'm just gonna do a simple if statement. And so let's say we're looking for that value nine. I'm gonna say if value is in df.index, which is gonna search those index labels. Um, and then if so, I want you to go get it for me. If not, then print not an in index. Well, here it looked at it. It says it's not in the index. It's gonna print not an in index. However, if we do that same exact thing again, but we do it for df equals two, well, all of a sudden it gets us what we want. So that is Panda's key error. And if you were to take nothing away from this video, just think in your head, key error means that pandas cannot find what I'm looking for. Thank you guys.